What is up, YouTube? I'm back. I uh, got some tapes, like I told you I was going to have. Uh, I got a couple CDs and uh, went to a show, so a little bit of an album review. First of all, I'm listening right now to Lucifer's Legion with his latest record, Therion. You know, uh, Lucifer's Legion is a one-man black metal project from Australia. He writes some really good stuff. I have a very, very big fan of Lucifer's Legion. One more plug, uh, YouTubers. There is a new YouTube channel called Heavy Metal Relics. Uh, you're going to want to look into that. Here's the flyer. Uh, yeah, you're going to want to look into that. Uh, recently, she did an interview with... Uh, with the uh, Reaper from Crucified Mortals on the latest episode, and if you tune in this Friday, she's going to be doing a interview with Athenar from Midnight. So all the more reason to go check it out. Anyway, I got the new Crucified Mortals Psalms of the Dead Choir. I got it on cassette tape. Uh, they had this at the record shop when I was in Portland for the concert that I'm about to talk about as well. Uh, yeah, I couldn't pass this one up, man. Uh, Reapers is such a cool dude, and Crucified Mortals is such a great band. Really like the picture here. Like the, you guys, anybody remember these old shitty fucking Halloween costumes? I remember having to wear those terrible masks. So yeah, I really like, I really like the sound of this record. All this cassette tape. Uh, if you're into like some old school heavy metal sound and stuff that still stays nice and demonic the way I like my metal. Uh, you should look into Crucified Mortal Psalms of Dead Choir. We got definitely an old school vibe. Uh, it's not black metal. It's, uh, I don't know, I just call it like old school, old school heavy metal. But anyway, I went and saw Archgoat uh, playing with Valkyra, who was my favorite band of the night. Uh, also, Hellfire Death Cult and Weregoat. Uh, Weregoat had a different guitar player, so if you were like me and you were familiar with the um, Slave Bitch of the Black Ram Master, uh, you would have been expecting, you know, just some uh, straightforward fucking war metal, and which I fucking love it. And I also loved even more what I got, which was um, like the second they started out, the guitar just with like that dime bag top type of scream. And uh, that went on through the majority of the show. And also this new guy that was playing lead guitar with them was also doing some low, low death metal vocals, which made for like a really good sound. Big improvement to Weregoat. I mean, I already liked Weregoat, but I like him even more. And um, let's see, in Hellfire Death Cult, your typical uh, <laughs> hateful uh, group, much in the vein of Nyog the Bliss, if that's how you say it, an intolitarian, when intolitarian is not just talking. <laughs> uh, yeah, so yeah, really hateful. They all cover their faces and really low tuned. And then uh, Valkyra was very much in the vein of Watane, and I like Watane a lot, so I love them. And of course, you know Archgo, uh, that aggressive satanic death metal was fucking killer. I got Archgo set list. So these are the songs that they played. I noticed uh, some of the guys that got set list from their other shows had a uh, little bonus section down here that was uh, encore. So we didn't get an encore. That was a uh, one of two strikes from Arch Goat. Strike two for me, um, which is you know just a personal strike. Nothing really against them completely. But I wanted that fucking guitar pick, man. Uh, his guitar was standing there with the pick, and I was like, oh, I'll wait. And we had a pick to trade with him. It's like, hey, dude, we'll trade you a pick. You, if we can have your pick. You know, you don't even have a pick. I only have two fucking picks left. Yeah, I got a pick for you right here. And then it's just like turned to us and like whatever. So it's like, yeah, well, fuck you, man. But whatever. You know, uh, it's kind of lame of me to, to, I guess, ask him for his guitar pick, but it's also kind of lame for him to deny me the guitar pick, especially when I'm offering him one in return. But in his defense, the pick that I have is your standard thick pick, and the pick that he uses is this tiny little jazz pick. So maybe it was a specific thing, I don't know. It was still kind of douchebag move, though. Anyway, moving forward, uh, here's two more cassette tapes, starting with this one. Sorcerer Glass, uh, the pure essence of primitive forests. Printed on a pro tape. This is put out through Dread Records. Uh, I've been noticing a lot of good things through Dread Records lately. Um, SDG did a split with the band Ende, Ende, another French black metal group. 
who has also recently put out a fucking stellar release through the cassette tape was put out through Dread Records. This is a bitch to get out. And the CD, I believe, was put out through Osmos. And uh, it hasn't had a vinyl pressing yet, but I'm sure the one will be on the way because it is a great, great record. Great, 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 great. So SDG, you know, just a little track listing. This is the, I think this is their release from like 2010. So it's a little bit older. Uh, of course, they have developed their sound a lot since then. But this is a good tape, and as far as I know, you can only get this on cassette. I don't think this has had a CD release. Don't know if it ever will, but it's nice to have a, you know, some cassette, cassette only release. Next up, I got Shotin, Black Twilight Circle artist. Uh, you probably know about it. This is put out through Crepsculo Negro. Uh, that uh, war metal record or cassette tape I was listening to in my last video, uh, Abominable Blood was put out through this this uh, label as well. I noticed one thing strange about it, uh, it still has the tabs on the top. Usually these are popped off, so if I wanted to record over it, they sure made it easy to do. Why would I do that? <laughs> but another cool thing about this tape, so okay, first of course you got your standard J card. Logo, what we got here? This is uh, here's some info, recording info. But then they included this cool little fold-out lyric sheet. I haven't had a tape like do this yet. Of course, I don't have a lot of tapes. So yeah, you got the lyrics on this printout. Man, I fucking love this music. Again, we're, we're listening to Lucifer's Legion right now. The latest record, Therion. Fucking great, man. Anyway, so yeah, you got the lyric sheet here with Shawtan. Yeah, there's a lyric sheet. Just fold it back up and nicely put it into my little case where I keep my tapes. Alright, I got one more thing to share with you guys today. Um, so this is Scar Sided from Leviathan. Nice little spot gloss on it. This is, I, I think it's like a second pressing of it put out through Pro Profound Lore. Nice spot gloss again because uh, the ones that I've seen other guys share and uh, also one of the guitar players from my band, he has one that's in a bigger box with the die cut moon on it and everything this one's still pretty nice but it is a smaller packaging um, comes with a slip case for the disc not spot glossed here but you got the identical imagery here's what image is on the disc I'm not sure if that's the same image that's on the other ones uh, I have to go look and see but nice artwork and of course you got all the prints I don't know if you want me to go through all these I will briefly I guess just so you can compare uh, quality if you guys have the other pressings of this. So yeah, you got info on each side. It's, I think it's a, like each track has an image for it. I'm, I'm not positive if that was his intended purpose of this. I also noticed that uh, on his Bandcamp page, he sells the original prints of these for a thousand bucks a piece. And I know for a fact that this particular painting has been sold. Which, if what I'm guessing is right, that's the image for the smoke of their torment. If you haven't heard any Leviathan ever, or haven't heard this record, honestly I think this would be a good place to start. This is, in my taste, the best Leviathan record. I fucking, I just think it's just such a great, such a great product. I mean, the atmosphere that's being created here, oh yeah, that's the image from the disc. The atmosphere that's being created here is just this tormented atmosphere, this, uh, this feeling of just psychological torment, this feeling of rage, it's just aggression, so well put together, the uh, the effects that he puts on his vocals, I mean in the past, his vocals was often a, a lot more distant, so it's a little more present here, but yeah, I just fucking love it man, so yeah, those are all the cards, you've probably already seen these, I don't know why I just went through the time to show them all again, but yeah, that's Leviathan Scar Sided, great album. That's all I had to show today. Uh, so yeah, uh, go subscribe to Heavy Metal Relics. Yeah, like aside from those interviews that I talked about, one interview with Reaper from Crucified Mortals. He's also the disc jockey for the podcast uh, called Hellcast. And uh, this Friday, you'll be able to see an interview 
with Athenar on there from Midnight. Also, Hellcast has an interview with Athenar from Midnight. But aside from that, Heavy Metal Relics has tons of old school footage, uh, like VHS tapes being dubbed over to digital YouTube channel, so you can watch like old um, concert performances and stuff to just kind of give you that flashback or maybe if you're uh, researching these bands for the first time you can get a little insight on where they've come from or maybe more insight on how their sound has changed or how their live show has changed. Heavy Metal Relics, I have full faith that is going to just explode as a channel. I mean, not only does she have great people coming on there, uh, good music uh, being discussed, plus she's this hot chick. I mean, it's like a professional version of this bullshit that I'm doing on my channel. So if you're even halfway into this, go check out Heavy Metal Relics. Also, check out all these bands that I talked about today. Um, and until next time, Hail Satan.